On Monday, world leaders, diplomats, and activists will gather in Baku, Azerbaijan, for the United Nations Climate Change Summit, an event seen by many as crucial to addressing world's climate crisis. Esther Omopariola has the story. This annual summit isn't just about discussions. It's where global commitments are made and strategies formed to reduce carbon emissions and, of course, protect vulnerable communities. Well, this summit, known as COP29, has three major targets this year. First, there is climate finance with new funding to help developing countries hit hardest by climate change. Second, leaders will be working on carbon markets, creating a system where countries can trade carbon credits to cut down emissions. And finally, there is aid for countries already facing severe climate impacts to help them manage and recover. Well, the hope is that with so many leaders here at COP29, we'll see a strong push to meet these goals, hold countries accountable, and set real actions in motion. Azerbaijan, as the host, will guide these discussions and keep the focus on bold steps forward. And beyond the official talks, there will be plenty of side events where activists, scientists, and of course, businesses can raise awareness and secure support for new climate projects. And if all goes well, COP29 will bring meaningful progress on funding, carbon markets, and real actions to address the climate crisis. Esther Mokpariola, TVC News, Azerbaijan. Well, let's bring in Esther. Of course, we do miss her here in Lagos, but she is in Azerbaijan to help us understand how important these conversations are. Esther, it's good to have you join us. But talk to us. We've seen firsthand um, flooding here in Nigeria. We've also seen in Australia. We've seen in Spain. Uh, and this problem, the climate change, is affecting countries around the world, not just developing countries, but developed countries as well. But talk to us about how important these conversations are. Well, Sarah, already I can tell you that world leaders are already arriving for this major summit here in Baku, Azerbaijan. Well, among those already here, let me start with that first, are the president of Northern Macedonia and the vice presidents of uh, Angola and Malawi. Well, this event it will start like from Monday, like you said, from 11th to 22, and it's expected to bring about uh, 80,000 participants, including global dignitaries and experts on climate action. Well, hosting COP29 is more or less a big moment for Azerbaijan, which ends the debate during um, last year's COP28 uh, summit with the strong support from the Eastern Europe. Well, this year, Azerbaijan has declared it a Green World Solidarity Year, which is focusing on uniting nations to tackle climate change. And the agenda for this conference is really quite ambitious because the key priorities here is more or less on stepping up uh, global climate action, establishing concrete actions or plans rather to fight global uh, climate change. And But one significant initiative is the $1 billion uh, climate finance action fund with half of it of uh, funding we build for climate projects in developing countries. Well, already some African leaders are here, like I mentioned, and they are particularly here to push for more climate financing to accelerate the activation of Article 6, which is about the Paris Agreement, which will also help to set uh, market rules. And they are really concerned about the uh, stalled loss and damage fund, especially after the devastating floods we've seen in East Africa and, of course, some uh, extreme heat in the Sahel early this year. And finally now, there is a coalition now of some nations that have been hardest hit by the climate impacts, especially with the rising sea levels that are trying now to push hard for trillions in financing and also to strongly push for a phase out of fossil fuels globally. And well, the COP29 summit promises to be a critical moment now in the global fight against climate change. Sarah. Of course, the major issue is climate financing about um, the controversial a controversial question remains who receives what, who is giving how much, you know, but we'll get to talk about all of this definitely on Monday when the meeting starts. Esther Mopariola, thank you so much. We'll miss you back home. Return safely.